Warriors with the last ball of this match have hoisted the ball over the top and they win by three wickets. Fantastic finish to this match. I told you there won't be a super over, didn't I? And what I said came right. Tremendous. Tremendous. Well done. This is a Pereira. They are stunned. Chittagong Vikings are stunned because this is a Pereira virtually did the impossible. Run four winning by three wickets and chasing a fairly decent target. The target of 176 has been chased down and a six of the last ball. Tremendous, tremendous uh, performance. Kung Fu Riders winning by three wickets, 180 for seven. And uh, there he goes, the winning stroke. Oh, this is absolutely marvelous. And uh, the loose delivery, really, really. One down the leg side, one long hop for the batsman to put away. That's not good from Tuskin Ahmed. He will be sorry for himself and for his team. But congratulations to the Rangpur riders. They had a tough, tough ask in uh, trying to overtake that 176 runs. But eventually, they have uh, reached that the goal. And uh, he'll be a happy person as he strolls in. But this is the man who did it for them, the Sarah Pereira. Outstanding, magnificent. No amount of words will be sufficient to describe his effort because he held his nerve, he needed a special effort, he needed someone with experience and I believe this Mr. Pereira was the man to do it. And I can tell you that his words would have gone up a few notches with that effort, that, with that effort, uh, Shamim. It's significant to note that uh, Mr. Pereira, when he bowled, he defended 10 runs when his bowling uh, when he won the match for with the ball and today he scored 14 runs with the bat now he's a man of all seasons isn't he and he will be absolutely over the moon his team will be delighted and uh, what a uh, what a person to have in your team and a very genial person also oh yes indeed and uh, well the sri lankans will be hoping that uh, there'll be more of those when he plays for the country and uh, he's been uh, turning it on a lot uh, in the leagues, but he'll need to do it, turn it on, even if, when he plays at the highest level. Not that he's incapable, he, he's certainly capable of doing that. And I think with his maturity, it's time that he starts doing it. Just notice that Mashafi Morto is uh, such a great player and a great person and a great leader. He is coming across and consoling Tuskin Ahmed near that uh, he'll take a lot of the blame for uh, that loss and head down coming in. It was great of uh, that man, Mashavi Mortaza, and uh, coming across and uh, saying that, don't worry, mate, there'll be another day. Just keep your chin up. This is what's transpired with the uh, Vikings innings. Uh, run out of uh, Ronki was unfortunate. Shomo Sharkar had a decent enough start, but couldn't carry on for 30 of 26. And uh, Shian Ponzil, 68 of 40, had laid the foundation for the Caliph later on, the charge later on, which was done to a certain extent by Najibullah, but uh, the man uh, really could not accelerate enough at the, at the end to take it to over the 176 mark. But at one point in time, it looked as if it 